Hello, Bill Sherrill here for another All About the Car tip brought to you by Sherrill Tiring Service. And today we're in Weston with Kevin, our team leader here. And we're here to talk about the mysteries of TPMS. First of all, what does it stand for? Well, that's a very good question. A lot of people don't understand what right. TPMS stands for. It stands for Tire Pressure Monitoring System. Okay. And it's a system on your vehicle that will indicate if you have a low tire pressure on your car at all. So the light goes on, but how does that light go on? Well, there's two systems actually um, for different manufacturers. Mm -hmm. One uses a sensor inside the wheel to monitor tire pressure and temperature, and the other system uses the ABS system on the vehicle um, to identify if it's got a low tire or not. And the ABS is the automatic brake system? That's correct, Bill. Okay. It's the ABS system. It's to prevent tire lockup when you're slowing down or in inclement weather. So temperature, when you're saying inclement weather, temperature, does it affect both of these systems? Because you always hear about, oh, my I don't have to worry about this because it's cold. Yeah, tire pressure is definitely affected by cold ambient temperatures. And it's something that you should be cognitive of and always adjust your air pressure as temperature goes up and down. So yes, it greatly reduces the amount of air it constricts yeah. the tire uh, that end up with low tire pressure. So if I if this light goes on, do I immediately stop because, or do I just say it's cold out or it's hot out and it's messing yeah. with the electronics? Well, what I would do personally is if your vehicle is equipped with the sensors that actually display the tire pressure, right. I would go through that and make sure that one tire is not at like 10 pounds, right. maybe it's two or three pounds low enough to trip the light. Then you can continue on until you get to the service station and get the tire filled up. If your vehicle does not display tire pressure, right. I would stop immediately and pull over just to make sure um, that your tire is not completely flat or extremely low. Everybody should have a tire pressure gauge with them in their vehicle. And it would be a good idea just to get out and make sure that you don't have a tire that's almost flat. That makes sense. Or if your car, you can't find where it tells you what your tire pressure amount is. Every it vehicle. Could, it could probably tell you somewhere. Every vehicle in the driver's side door, yep. if you open the door, it's either on the door itself okay. or in the jam. Yep. It'll tell you how much air is supposed to be in your tires. Fantastic. Thank you, Kevin, for all this information. Well, thank you very much. We enjoy having you here today. Fantastic. And maybe we can educate some folks. Fantastic. We'll see you next time.